weather for this one ideal unseasonably warm can you believe 53 degrees at kickoff clear skies five seconds on the play clock nope, nope they're going for it here comes Lynch pass away incomplete influenced by the blitz by Lynch trying to hit Christian Fourier on the pass I'm not sure they go for it at this point so maybe two down territory by virtue of them accepting the penalty it doesn't matter they got the target for the first it's puts here at the 12 yard line it's Bell again and working near the first down yardage and this one stopper inside it frees up a lot of other defenders to make the plays look at this couple of chain links short now you're talking about one of the all members of the all space eater team in the league backfield behind Plummer third and inches oh he didn't get it no in fact they lost a yard he went with the quick count New England absolutely was ready Robin it pass incomplete what coverage over there by Asante Samuel Lee was the target and the Patriots wow. take over on downs down and nine Flinging it down field and intercepted. They say no. Now we're going to get a little conference here. Vrabel trying to plead the case. All quarterbacks do, but off balance tries to make an unbelievable throw. One foot, two foot. This is going to be red flagged by Bill Belichick. After reviewing the play, the defender caught the ball at the 11-yard line with possession, both feet down inbounds. Therefore, it is an interception. First and 10, New England at the 11. New England is not charged. They time out. So backed up most of the night from the 11. Brady running out to get some room, looking down the field for Davis. And he brings it down with the catch. All the way to the Denver 38. And Terry, this a low driving hooking kick. It's good. You can complete the sentence. Second down and short and Falk up ahead with a fumble. Fumble recovered by the Broncos. He can head the 40. Play action. Plummer. He's going down deep. All the way to the end zone and incomplete. And again, like glue, Asante Samuel, now a late flag. Lee was the target. Half interference. Defense number 22. The foul third in the end zone. It'll be first and goal. Third penalty. And it's Anderson. Diving in. Touchdown, Denver. Just another reason why they've won 10 playoff games in a row and who they are. And now playing from behind with Ellis Hobbs. Returning it. And breaking it. Loose by Todd Sauerbrunn, who kicked it off. Lisa Neal, kick on the way, and that kick, it is good. I don't think he hit that one very good either. He get the hang of the Denver Blitz. Back to Brady. Brady now fires. Man open, 30-yard line. It's Branch. And Lynch cuts off the angle, forcing him out at the 19. Coming after Brady, gets it away, he's picked. He's picked in the end zone. It's Bailey. Bailey taken off, and he gets away from the one man who had a shot at him. Talk about a game changer. Bailey, is he in or not? Running it back 100 yards before Watson comes in at the last minute. In the field after the 100-yard return. I tell you, it almost looked like Bailey was pulling up like he had no idea Watson was closing in on. Record. One play later or in, Mike Anderson. Come in from the side. Gigi Wilson had to pull up. He was trying to time it 
just right. And Jeff Brown fumbles. Oh, the Sparkles have it. Could be the clincher. If they have it. Right you are. On the roll and throwing. Hitting touchdown. Rod Smith. First and goal, Brady. Over the top, back to the end zone, and Gibbons has a touchdown catch for the seventh consecutive postseason game. Back in that 98 season. And Hill with the kick, and that's good. From 34. Another deep ball with the triple coverage, and John Lynch has it. Brady was decked again. He's intercepted for a second.